This is the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week pregame show, sponsored by Valorec. Let's it rip and it's caught inside. Blast his way. Open field. Breaks another tackle. He's to the 35. The 30. Well, you love the gutsy play call right there. Another one for the highlight reel. Don't feel it's caught. The playoff push continues in the high school football regular season. This week, a pair of Pennsylvania Powers will renew their rivalry as Sharon plays host to Sharpsville in the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. I'm Chad Krispinski. Alongside Ryan Allison, these two teams know each other very well. Well, they're backyard rivals and both coming off emotional wins last week. So there's a lot of momentum coming into Tiger Stadium tonight. Yes, there is. Let's take a look at tonight's matchup notes. According to our friends at Professor Briggs, Com. This is the 68th meeting between Sharpsville and Sharon. Yeah, the Tigers lead the all-time series with 50 wins, 16 losses, and a tie. Now, since 2012, the Blue Devils have won four of the last six, but it was Sharon coming away with the bragging rights during their last meeting in 2019. Tigers won that game 47 to nothing. In fact, let's take you back to 2019. Sharon used a strong ground attack that piled up 208 rushing yards, with four different players finding the end zone on the ground in that 47-0 victory. Sharpsville enters this week's action feeling really good about itself after coming away with a thrilling 14-12 win over Greenville last Friday night. Blue Devils got a monster game from quarterback Colin Summers. He ran for 74 yards in a touchdown and also threw for 181 yards in that victory. With that win, Sharpsville improves to 5-0 on the season. The Blue Devils have now won nine straight games dating back to last season. And their offense is really clicking. They're averaging over 29 points per game, and the defense is allowing just over 13 points per contest. In fact, this season, they've only allowed one opponent to score more than 14 points in a game. One of the major driving forces for the Blue Devils' potent offense, senior wide receiver Garen Levis. Yeah, he's piled up the numbers through the first five weeks of the season. 28 receptions, 573 yards, and five touchdowns. He's also averaging more than 20 yards per catch this season. Blue Devils head coach Paul Piccarelli says Levis is the go-to guy and easily as good as anybody in all of Mercer County. Levis says he admires the style of play of Stephon Diggs of the Buffalo Bills and he prides himself on bringing tremendous speed to the field each time out. He's really good at tracking the ball on the deep ball, catching it over both shoulders, really, you know, precise route runner. Um, you know, so he, he's good. He's, he, he's physic he can physically run through you, um, go up and get the ball in the air. So he just does it all. When we come back, we'll turn our attention to Sharon. The Tigers ready to show off their explosive offense to the entire Valley. You're watching the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. You're watching the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week pregame show. And welcome back. As the countdown to kickoff continues, let's now turn our attention to Sharon. This matchup with Sharpsville, really an important one. Yeah, with five games left in the regular season, Tigers are looking to make up some ground in those Region 3 standings. And Sharon is certainly still on an emotional high after last Friday night's 33-14 win over Wilmington. Yeah, it was historic. It marked the first victory over Wilmington in New Wilmington in school history. Javier White led Sharon with the, on the ground with 177 yards rushing. Let's take a closer look at Sharon. The Tigers enter this week's action with 3-2 and two record and 2-1 and one in conference play. Yeah, they currently sit just below Sharpsville and Farrell in the Region 3 standings. Both of them are 3-0. and oh. Tigers are tied with Grove City at 2-1 and one in the league, so this one very important today. And they certainly have the offense to end Sharpsville's unbeaten start to the season. Tigers averaging more than 31 points per game. And it all starts for Sharon with senior quarterback Mikey Rodriguez. He's a dual threat. That is very dangerous. Yeah, and he brings great size to the position. Six foot one, 198 pounds. Tigers head coach Jason McElhaney calls him a fullback playing quarterback. He's got a big arm and a tremendous knack for running the football. He's already accounted for 12 touchdowns this season. 
He tells us he's most proud of his physical toughness. He absolutely loves contact, and he plays on both sides of the ball. Aside from his work at quarterback, Rodriguez is the heart and soul of the Tiger defense at middle linebacker. Well, he's a big boy. He's a, when he gets through the line, if he has four or five yards to run, he's going to knock you over. So we somehow we got to keep him in the pocket and uh, not force him to run the ball and force him to throw the ball. Which brings us to our keys to the game. Sharpsville is looking to take that turnover factor very seriously. The Blue Devils looking to protect the ball on offense and create turnovers on defense. Meanwhile, Sharon is looking to keep the Blue Devils in front of them. They do not want Sharpsville quarterback Colin Summers scrambling, making big plays. If that happens, it could be a long night for the Tigers. And finally, both teams are looking to stay on schedule. They want to keep the chains moving, keep the ball moving, and keep the opposing offense off the field. So the spotlight is shining brightly on high school football's biggest stage. We're just about ready for kickoff. Sharpsville and Sharon face off next in the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week.